confidence suits you. When earned, yes. You are proud. See, I never understood why pride was considered a deadly sin. The power you feel now after having completed an arduous task. Isn't it empowering? You've shown great promise. Done exceptional work. Don't you deserve something for it? Perhaps. But not from you. Before you make a tragic mistake, I'd like to make you an offer. You've seen the world. You've seen the state it's in. You're smart enough to know that someone somewhere has lied to you. There is no plan. There is no balance. It's all lies. But imagine if it were true. Imagine if you and I truly set out to give the world direction, order. Isn't that your true purpose? We could be the force for balance the world deserves. We could be greatness. At one time, that speech might have worked on me. But that was when I did not understand how ugly pride could be. Thank you for your generous offer, but if this world is to be fixed, neither of us will be the ones to do it. When you look back on yourself, does anything give you pride?
did you speak to the Lord of the Hollows? <clears throat> he knew. He too was proud. Tell me about the Council. Your so-called masters are infected with pride. They serve no balance. Who do you think released the Seven from our prison? What purpose do we serve without humanity to corrupt? Tell me my words do not ring true. You cannot deny the pride that still resides within you, can you? Enough empty flattery! Tell me everything. <laughs> you already know everything, mistress. The great irony here is that for once, your enemy is right. You should feel pride, but you do not. You only feel fear. Fear that you came this close to greatness, only to fall! See? Your counsel betrays you. <sighs> Watcher! Always so pretty. I used to be so jealous of you, sister. Envy! <sighs> no! Is it not? You know what else I envy? Your power! And thanks to our mutual benefactors, that power is mine! <laughs> Pride had it right. The Charred Council set you up. They want us all dead! All seven sins and the horsemen! No! Oh, but I! I knew better! <laughs> jealousy and jealousy. I took the form of a trusted servant, and you, horsemen, became both my sword and my shield. Sins out of the way, I will destroy the Charred Council once and for all! Only then will the Earth finally be mine! <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall! <laughs> A bit on the nose, but the message is clear! You snore. Me? 
Maybe it's a broken nose. Well, looks like you've been busy. Doing what, I have no idea, other than getting your ass handed to you. <sighs> Who are you, human? Just speak to me like this. Oh, I'm just another refugee. Like you. But I'm not strong enough to defend the ballots. That's your purpose. I have learned that I am weak. Well, maybe now you finally understand how all humans feel. Pulled into a war they never asked for. Left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight. All of humanity has been betrayed. And yet, they still fight on. What about you? I strayed from the path. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. Oh, worse and more. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So in other words, you have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life, there is always hope. Hope? I was humbled in my battle with Envy. No doubt she's on her way to destroy the Chard Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth, so when you speak of hope, Human, I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthane. You'll see. Kind of what humans do. And the fact that you sent more than a few survivors our way didn't hurt. All for naught. We didn't pull you from the rubble to quit now. Envy holds the power of the Seven. Your betrayal can be seen on your face. Left for dead like some useless discarded thing. But it is not over. A reflecting pool? Aye, with a few adjustments. But it's only meant for you. will only take you to your heart's desire. I desire only to finish what the Council began. Find your resolve, Horseman. It's all you have now. And it is what you need if you're to stop Envy and unseat your former masters. your time. As you wish. This will be fun for both of us. As you wish. <laughs> What 
what would you add? This, as you wish. Take your time. A wise decision. A wise decision. A what? As you wish. This will be fun for both of us. Thank you for fighting on the right side of history, Horseman. Humanity won't forget this. I bid you good luck, Ryder. Welcome! We know the final battle is imminent. and judging that you've forgotten how to fight! You dare attack this holy sanctum! I do! I dare! Because no one else ever has! And that makes this evil sweet! You haughty sons of whores have had this coming for eons, and you have no one but yourselves to thank for it. Your lust for power will be your undoing envy. Well, isn't that the pot calling a kettle black? When I'm done here and you're nothing left but pebbles, I will simply wait out the apocalypse and destroy whatever weakened generals remain. The Earth will be mine! It's over, Envy! You have failed! Kill her, horseman! We command! Oh, shut up! You command nothing but my scorn, and you will know my fury soon enough! Blasphemy! Trip! Yield or die, Envy! <laughs> Seriously? No, but it was worth a shot. With his weapon, coming all this way, just me to prove you are the worthless when you began. You're no match.
accomplished your task, Fury. Perhaps you should be rewarded. But perhaps not! Envy may have caught us unawares, but we have more than enough power to deal with an insect like you. You have overstepped your bounds, horsemen. You shall be punished along with your brothers like the impudent child you are! No! I will not die like this! I will not allow your corruption! Unity is key! If we're to move forward from here, we must move as one! Uh, you won't make it! The Council! Enraged! No doubt fueling the attack on Haven in secret. If you have a plan for them... The time is now! Heaven! Hell! The Chard Council! They wish to see them annihilated. You know this, but perhaps you don't know the reason. Even before the apocalypse, why were your lives so hard? Because you were created for a great purpose and left unprotected. So those who fear you have set out to destroy you with false promises and wars and sin that they blame on you. They all fear you. That fear can be used against them. Humanity can win this war! Look around you. This is what's left of humanity, and we are in no shape to fight a war on the scale you suggest. No. You must hide. From the eyes of heaven and hell! The Council? That's exactly what must be done. But what humanity needs more than a good hidey hole is a protector. A protector? Beaker would it be if I built a doorway that only connected two places, huh? <laughs> Your heart's desire, horseman! Safe place for the poor unwanted. Yeah, 
I don't understand. Hey, well, you will. Sadly, you will understand it all as you travel with them. <sighs> Me? They are in need of a protector, and you need a new purpose of our own. Powers in my possession to protect humanity. And one day, we will set things right together. Ulthane, my brother, War, is an innocent in this drama. If you ever find an opportunity to assist him in any way, I would ask you to do so. I will. Thank you, Maker. May our future be one of justice. I save travels, horseman.
young one plays nursemaid to mankind. It is of no concern. Abaddon rules over the earth. Heaven and hell scramble to take their place at the table. And the council? <laughs> the council works against the very balance they profess to uphold. Soon, corruption will overtake them all. And only I shall remain. You <laughs> may go. <laughs> <laughs>